You're listening to Black Helicopter News. The Black Helicopter crowd knows the turn is always working just around the corner. It's here. They've been crazy, but now they run. Black Helicopter News starts now. Hello and welcome to the podcast. This is episode 11 of Black Helicopter News. I'm your host, Andrew Robinson, and we have a lot of news to get through. Here's what's coming up on today's show. Mainstream media is the enemy. Infowars.com. Alex Jones sounds off on the mainstream media, and we've got highlights. Also, aliens have deactivated nuclear weapons from the U.S. and U.K. That's on Earth. We are one.com. All that and more coming up next. But first, before we get into that, I want to make some quick announcements. I want to thank last week's guest, Paranormal Investigator, Greg Caggiano, host of the Ghosts on the Coast podcast. We had a great interview. Unfortunately, we got cut off and most of the audio couldn't be used. So we have to get him back on the show again real soon. Also, thanks again to the last few guests, Damian Rucci and Jay Hernandez. We will be getting them on the show again real soon as well. Now, back to the news. Mainstream media is the enemy. Infowars.com. You can check this video out on YouTube. We've got highlights for you right now. Camera 5. Go. This just shows where the heart and soul of the country is. People are turning against abortion. People are turning against open borders, including almost 70% of Hispanics, 69% Gallup. The propaganda is failing. People are more pro-gun now than ever. New polls out today. And pro-gunners are more politically active. We're on the march. The empire is on the run. Now, that doesn't mean we're winning the war. I don't want to be over positive here and be deceptive, but we're gaining ground. We're getting in the fight. We lost the first five, six rounds. We're now in the seventh round, to use an allegory. And we have got them up against the ropes, hammering them in the ribs, hammering them in the jaw, popping them in the nose. And we just got to lay into them as hard as we can right now. And they could go down any minute. Now, that doesn't mean the whole New World Order fails. But it means people start going to jail. A bunch of their programs get backed up a decade, like happened in the 70s with the church committees. I mean, we are about to cause a sea change. The tide's been coming in for tyranny. It's starting to go out. It's that magic moment. If you ever been at the ocean in a dock or in a bay for that 10 minutes when the tide starts to go out, it's still, it's crystal clear. We've now reached that magic moment. The next few years is that magic moment. And let me tell you what they'll do during magic moments to reverse the tide back on us. They'll blow up federal buildings and blame it on us. They'll start wars. They'll implode economies and pose as savers. It doesn't mean we're winning. It means we're in the fight. We are in the fight. And if we're aware of how evil the enemy is, when I say enemy, I mean enemy. We know they're coming to set us up. They'll be the ones that have to deal with their fraud. They are the enemy. They are the enemy. We don't use that as semantical, like it's fun, like we're we're in the fort fighting pirates when we're seven years old. We're here in the real fort fighting the globalists from deep in the heart of Texas, and we know who they are, the enemy. We're men, we're women, we know what we're up against, and that's what it's all about. Getting your head around the fact that the mainstream media is the enemy. So we should refer to them. We've had this debate for years. It's now crystal clear. You can add other verbal names to it and other descriptions. Prostitutes, Decepticons, enemy collaborator media, propagandists, fraudsters, liars, arrogant scum, deceivers, uh, predatory media. A lot of these are my terms. Propaganda placement. But really, it's just when you refer to the enemy CNN, the enemy of the American people, the enemy of humanity CNN, the enemy of humanity MSNBC, the enemy of humanity the Justice Department, the enemy of humanity the IRS, the enemy of humanity ISIS. The enemy of humanity, the enemy, the enemy, the enemy, the enemy, the enemy, the enemy, the enemy. And I just, and then it clicked when I was hiking this weekend. They are the enemy. They know they're the enemy. They see us as the enemy. They've got police departments all over the country saying they're preparing for war with the veterans and gun owners. Now, that's the political officers they put in front of the camera. The guys behind them know that's a fraud. The women behind them know it's for fraud. I've talked to them. But that's... That's how crazy this is, is they've really got police departments lined up and ready to have a war with gun owners. I mean, the police are upset and worried about gangbangers shooting cops. I mean, that is statistically a problem. We're against it. But you want to start a fight with 15 million veterans that are still able to fight? There's even more than that, but it's about 15 million under the age of about 50. And I'm not saying folks above 50 can't fight. They're some of the most dangerous because they're not afraid to die. <laughs> I mean, police. You know that's them trying to have you stick your arm down a badger hole or jump in a pit of, of hungry lions. I mean, are we really that dumb to let Melissa Harris Perry and the Southern Poverty Law Center march us all off to kill each other like a bunch of idiots? 
Really? This is how they tried to control the narrative. And that's why we're here. Black Helicopter News. We give a voice to the voiceless. We are the real media. We are the alternative media. Not just my show. Podcasters, bloggers, and such. We are the libertarians, the anarchists, the socialists, the tinfoil hat wearers, the conspiracy theorists. We realize no single political side can fix the problems on its own. We'll be right back. Pretty obvious by now to most of us that there are there are certain people in the government who want to take away our guns. Our gun rights are in jeopardy. Now they can just willy nilly ban ammunition. Oh, the 223 ammo for AR-15s is bad. I'm going to take it away by executive order. To heck with the Congress. To heck with the Constitution. To heck with the people. I'm God. I'm the dictator. I'm running a banana republic. I don't know what the guy's thinking up there in the White House, but listen, if you want to keep your guns and you want to maintain the ability to take care of and protect your family, you need invisible guns, ghost guns, like the AR-15, the ghost AR-15, starting as low as 499 bucks at guns80.com. Go to guns80.com on the web, guns80.com. Look at the link below in the description box. Link on there to guns80.com or call 844-2-GUNS-80, 844-2-GUNS-80. Or guns80.com. You're listening to Black Helicopter News. And we're back. Thanks for joining us for this transmission of the podcast. For listeners just tuning in, I'm your host, Andrew Robinson, and this is Black Helicopter News. Now switching gears into the next segment. Aliens have deactivated nuclear weapons from the U.S. and U.K. That's from EarthWeAre1.com. According to the statement of several... Military officials, aliens have deactivated nuclear weapons from both the U.S. and U.K. It seems that the aliens really hate nukes, according to U.S. military pilots. Extraterrestrial beings have landed, infiltrated nuclear missile sites, and deactivated the weapons. Numerous highly ranked officials have claimed that since 1948, alien beings have been visiting countries such as the U.S. and U.K. and deactivated nuclear missiles, according to a senior U.S. airman. Alien beings even landed in a British base. Mysteriously, our governments have been working steadily to cover up this information in the best way possible. Captain Robert Salas and other military personnel opened up about aliens and UFOs saying we're talking about unidentified flying objects as simple as that they're often known as UFOs you could call them that Captain Salas even witnessed the UFO sighting at the Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana firsthand when on March 16th 1967 a mysterious UFO appeared in the sky Captain Salas states I was on duty when an object came over and hovered directly over the site shut down 10 minute man missiles and the same thing happened at another site a week later, there's a strong interest in our missiles by these objects, wherever they come from. I personally think they're not from this planet. But UFOs have been seen at numerous other military bases around the world. The UK seems to be one of those hotspots in Europe. According to Colonel Charles Hall, over 30 years ago, he witnessed a UFO encounter at the former military base near Ipswich when an otherworldly vehicle fired beams of light into the base. At that moment, radio chatter emerged where military personnel said that aliens had landed inside the nuclear storage area. Colonel Holt said, I believe that the security of both the United States and United Kingdom have attempted both then and now to subvert the significance of what occurred by the use of well-practiced methods of disinformation. And now there's a video that I could suggest you go on YouTube right now to check and search UFO Disclosure Project Full Version. But if you're too lazy to do that, we got a clip right now. He walked away from all that money to pursue... The truth, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Stephen. Thank you very much, John. The members of the press, the American public, and people of the world. We are here today to disclose the truth about a subject that has been ridiculed and questioned, denied for at least 50 years. The men and women who are on this stage and the some 350 additional military intelligence witnesses to the so-called UFO matter and extraterrestrial intelligence can prove and will prove 
that we are not alone. In 1993, a group of uh, military advisors to this project and I met out in the countryside in Virginia, and we decided that it was time for civilians, military, intelligence, and other people to come together to disclose the truth about the subject, which is called UFOs. Since that time, I have personally briefed a sitting director of Central Intelligence, James Wolsey, President Clinton's first CIA director. I have personally briefed the head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, the head of Intelligence Joint Staff, members of the Senate Intelligence Committee, many members of Congress, members of the European leadership, the Japanese cabinet, and others. And what I have found is that none of them are surprised that this is true but they are uniformly horrified that they have not had access to these projects. We can establish through these witnesses whom we have identified, which now number over 400, and these are people who have been inside the CIA, NSA, Air Force, Navy, Marines, Army, all divisions of the intelligence and military community, as well as corporate witnesses, contractors to the government. These are folks who have been involved in so-called black budget or covert unacknowledged projects. These unacknowledged special access projects are taking in at least 40 to 80 billion dollars per year and they are sitting on technologies that can change the world forever. The reason we are coming forward now is that we are asking for the US Congress and for presidents to move towards an official inquiry and disclosure on this subject. It has the most profound implications for the human future, for the U.S. national security, and for world peace. We can prove that this subject has been hidden from members of Congress and at least two administrations that we are aware of. There is no evidence I wish to emphasize that these life forms from elsewhere are hostile towards us, but there is a great deal of evidence that they are concerned with our hostility. There are times when they have neutralized or rendered inert the launch capabilities of intercontinental ballistic missiles. They have shown clearly that they do not want us to weaponize space, and yet we are proceeding down that dangerous path. Researchers commented and wrote on this subject and state that otherworldly beings are at the moment interested in mere surveillance but warns that aliens might have gone a step further on some occasions. He writes, At long last, all of these witnesses are coming forward to say that, in um, as unbelievable as it may seem to some, UFOs have monitored and sometimes tampered with our nukes. Are aliens keeping an eye out for us? Watching over us so we don't kill planet Earth and everything on it? Have humans gone a step too far when it comes to nuclear weapons? And if so, can aliens really stop? That is, if they actually do exist? These are just some of the questions that people around the world have asked. So far, none of them have been answered. Check us out online at armageddonrecords.com.